Hey everybody, Jay here with Parts County Gurus. Thanks for coming in today. We are in the content creators uh, lobby here with uh, the EV, the electrification performance zone, which is pretty amazing. We've got an interesting story here for you today. We've got uh, Wayne Bickley, who is sponsored by uh, Torque Trends Incorporated out of Surprise, Arizona today. He's got a little story about this Corvette right here that we want to talk about, and uh, we're going to let him take it away. So give us the story behind why this thing is electrified. Oh, sure. Uh, Jay, it's uh, great to have you here today. Um, so, um, 12 years ago, mm -hmm. I actually had uh, my, my Corvette is an LT1 with a, a, a supercharger. Right. Uh, a Vortex supercharger with 12 pounds of boost at 5,000 RPM. A true muscle car. True muscle car, about 500 horse. Right. Well, the, the sad thing, I was living in California. Right. And so the, the problem was, I, I kept failing smog. Right. So, after four times of failing, I said, you know what, I am so done with this. So I went out and I bought 12 blue top batteries and a net gain warp 9, stuck right. it on the front of my 4L60, and I took it back. And the guys were almost apologetic. They were like, you know, Mr. Bickley, can we put it back on the dyno again? And I said, well, I don't think you'll have to do that. And they go, well, why not? And I said, I converted it to, to battery electric. Well, their, their jaw almost dropped. And I said, well, you guys weren't cutting me any slack. Right, right. Okay. So... Um, so they almost, again almost apologetic. They're almost lifting the you know they're asking me if they could lift the hood. They looked underneath, saw the batteries and the electric motor, and they said, "Okay, we're going to sign this off as a battery electric vehicle." Wow! So that was 12 years ago, and then and over now, time, I've been uh, up upgrading the car, probably about four iterations of motors and batteries. And okay. So, forth. so what do you have now in there? Mm -hmm. What is so the? So what I've got right now is I've actually got three net gain uh, Hyper 9 HV motors. Okay. With a torque trend uh, gear reduction. Right. And uh, so the car is uh, 386 horse, 486 foot pounds of torque. Wow. Zero to 60 in 4.8. Um, I get 180 miles range and top speed's 125 mile an hour. That's pretty amazing. That's a that's an electrified Corvette. I think it's the first I've ever seen. Um, we always have people ask us on our channel when they comment mm -hmm. um, how how can they go about what is the best resource that you have found to to convert over like for example. Here today we have the Ford Illuminator vehicles over here, yes. which is a, which is a crate motor that, you, that that anybody can buy now. Of course, they're sold out. You can't buy them right, right. now. Yes. But the biggest question we have is how do you how do you go about uh, converting it? Is there a manual that you can go by? Do you have any recommendations for people there, on that? There's actually a, a, a couple of books that you can actually even get off of Amazon about okay. you know um, about EV conversion and so forth. Right. And then there's actually companies that you can actually you know purchase the, the individual uh, items you know the motors, the right. batteries, and contactors and all those sort of things like a Legacy EV and the, you know a couple other folks that are actually represented here as well. Okay. Uh, uh, Lone Star as well is okay. a, another very good uh, company. They they make sleeper cells and stuff for like you know drag racing. And, sure. Uh, those sort of things. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many? Um, how? And I, I don't. I don't. If you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. But sure. what can one expect to invest into a conversion like sure. this? Um, like if you if you don't take the car into account, mm -hmm. um, I've I probably got roughly about maybe thirty thirty five thousand dollars invested. So there you go. Not a hundred thousand like some people Correct. have claimed that they're gonna they're gonna go after. Now yeah. as you add motors, obviously if you're looking for more horsepower, yes, the cost goes up. Yes. But but not exponentially like one would think, right? It, it, exactly. And and so it all comes down to how much performance you want and how far you want to go. Right. Uh, big, the, the biggest lion's share of the, the cost is in the batteries. Right. Because they, they determine how far you're going to go and how much power you can actually have because you don't want the batteries sagging. Sure. Uh, plus you want to have enough, uh, um, uh, you know, a amperage and, and uh, kilowatt hours to actually, you know, get you the distance that you, you desire that you right. want to go. Right, right. That's great. That's fantastic. Now, how do you feel that the uh, performance and racing community are reacting to the electrification of these vehicles now? I, I think it's kind of a standoff. I think there may be a, a, a wait and see. Yep. Um, but you know, I, I, I think that um, you know, of course, everybody wants to hear the noise. Yeah. You know, and and so you know, I'm sure there'll be maybe electric companies that are going to you know, sure. Uh, vehicle companies will come out with those sort of things as well. You know, to, right. to help satisfy that. Right. Well, the Mach E um, has a sound effect in the cab yes. of the vehicle that right. sounds like so yes. if that's what you're after then then that works that'll satisfy you yeah. and you're right i'm sure yeah. with technology they'll come out with something that, that will yeah. help that there, satisfy actually, that need you know there, so. there's actually a company that actually makes exhaust with a speaker in it and you can make it sound what however you want see to. there see there folks there you <laughs> yeah. go there you go yeah. well there you have it folks thanks for watching thank you so much for for joining us today wayne um we appreciate it 
don't hesitate to go into the electrification of your muscle car. Um, it, it's, it's a trend that's happening now. If, if it weren't happening now and it weren't being received well, then the performance racing industry would not have these guys here. So keep an open mind, stay tuned to our channel, make sure you subscribe, go to partscountaguru.com for our podcast and hit the podcast tab or go over to youtube.com forward slash partscountagurus and thanks for watching today.